Hello and welcome to this backwards compatible uh, World Warships review, sorry, uh, gameplay, sorry. We have a bit of an issue with the recording software, but we'll see if that's ironed itself out. Um, also, just waiting to jump into the game because it seems like I'm not, I'm coming in quite late. Uh, then I, am, I was finding a game, the game crashed, I'm using OBS software, and it seems to be that which is conflicting with it. So, I apologise if this video is not quite as good or up to standard as usual. But we shall see exactly what's playing up. So, um, what I'm using is I'm using the Erie, which is a level one um, cruiser. Um, no, I haven't got any. Um, what's it called? The word I'm looking for. I've got no. That's it. I've got no um, experience with this with this particular ship, so it should be quite. Um, but it's a bit more of a this is when you start the game this is what you'll get idea and I think that's quite important sometimes because what that will do is it will help us it will help hopefully help people figure out exactly um, just gonna go into the area mode um, if I put that to so it goes to about there Autopilot mode enabled. oh about there actually then I'm trying to skip around the back now um, Obviously, it's one of those things where if you look at the, uh, the hit damage on the side, it says what 9,900. So, you know, you get caught up with a destroyer and that's it, you're gone basically. So, um, it's going to be quite interesting to see how well this ship does in comparison to other ships. So, if I turn M, I quite like the autopilot. Again, it, as soon as you want to change it, it will change it. So, you can just leave it on there if you're a bit unsure about using the controls at the beginning. I do suggest using it, it's quite a nice, easy way to play. Got four shots there because I'm at the angle that I'm at. I missed every single one. It's quite a lot of range there, so. Might be a bit too high. Yep, too high again. Oh my god, what is going on with my shooting? One shot after about eight shots, I think. That's right. Again, uh, maybe it's just definitely a problem with my edit with my recording software. Take your pile off. Not been hit yet, which is good. And I'm managing to get a lot of shots. Obviously, he's not. Again. Sorry about this, I don't know what the hell's happening with this recording. Oh, what heavy damage. Bloody hell, that's good. Ah, heavy damage already. Come on, you can take him. And I'm down. Oh no, that was really weird. So that was a quick loss. Again, this is going to be the problem when you first start out. It's going to happen with uh, 18 hits, two set on fire, and a partial destroy. But I still end up sinking. I love this animation. I just think it's so much fun. But so don't lose, don't lose heart. Um, when you first start, you're going to find it. You know, you're looking at these ships here, and they've got twice the amount of of damage capabilities as you have. So it is worth looking at you can at the beginning to try to move up. I mean, that's a level three. And, Again, the 
you know, it's over three times more and that's a problem you have when you're starting out so don't be afraid level one just don't be afraid to mess around obviously again it is a, a free to play game but there is a an element of you know, they do want you to spend money let's not let's not let's make no qualms about that fact um, and obviously the more you spend the better your game your game gets so um, you know could you play this by free I think you could I think you can have quite a lot of fun with the freebie but um, to really get the best experience you're going to have to drop a little bit of cash. Okay, well thank you very much for watching and I will bid you adieu.